One celeb has actually affected me, but I was also young. Yeah, MJ. Is it because you didn't get to meet him when you were in your prime? <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 podcast. It's going to be Jay first. Whoa. <laughs> Hold that thought. I would taste Bambi's mom, bro. Okay. Hey, yo. We colonized so much, innit? Shout out, innit? We. We were the colonized. <laughs> I ain't complaining, though. I made it here, bro. Thank yeah. the British Thank Empire. God, bro. British Museum. Stay. Stay. <laughs> never go. God. I ain't never want to be. We'd be star. nowhere without yeah, colonization. I don't even be Hindustan. Bro. I don't be Hindustan. <laughs> yeah, none of that. Especially not Hindustan. <laughs> it's like if you're blind, Are you, you blind? can't see. You can't Cosmi- see me. <laughs> <laughs> they were blind and they when can't see. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to episode number 43 of the Atypical Podcast. Three Energy. Of our... mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we like uh, it. Three of us have a document filled with amazing content and one of us doesn't. Lads, what are we up to? What have we been doing? I'm recording an episode. What about you, bro? What are you up to? Uh, besides that, what have you been doing this week? Went to uh, Shaji. Shout out Shaji. Me, um, Masam and Sachin went and we watched some wrestling, lads. Don't worry, we're not going to spend too long on it because we know nobody's only interested. But we watched it, stayed up to 5am, had a great time. It was Vibes. a really great time. That's yeah. mad interesting. Well, do, Tell the, us do, more. The, do the line, bro. Do the line. My best friend invited me around to his yard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Do the line, now. bro. Yeah. No, no, no. You did it. You did it. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's it, really. What was Same. the event? Who was actually... It was a Royal fighting? Rumble. It was a Royal Rumble. Oh, that's thing. a big one, I swear. That's a... Come on, yeah, bro. You know, Jeez. bro. Man, it's edumacated and that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it was a big one. Big, second biggest event of the of the year. So, did it? Out, did the outcome come out how you wanted it to play out? They actually changed the outcome, I'm pretty sure, because someone got injured during it. Nothing confirmed, though, right? Someone yeah, got injured in wrestling. Yeah, bro, it's real. <laughs> Imagine that. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, a guy shit. tore his triceps. I'm pretty, we're, we're pretty sure in the middle of the thing, he told the refs and the refs were like, all right, we've been told from backstage that you're going to have to lose now and the other guy's going to have to win. So they Swear changed on. it because he was so injured and the, the big Holy events shit. in April, beginning of April. So it was like... <laughs> was that Ray- Roman Reigns that lost? No. No, he was in another uh, match and he won. Uh, yeah. uh, so who won? I like him. Uh, the Royal Rumble? Yeah, yeah, he won. You, you don't care, bro. It's fine. <laughs> no, but the people, the people <laughs> might. Oh, okay, yeah, people Cody might. Rhodes won. I don't See, care. I don't care. See, if you had, you could have said it doesn't matter. Then I would have actually respected you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd have need you respect. reference. Fair, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, who actually yeah, won? Though? Cody, who? Shut up, man. <laughs> Wait, Move on in it. Wait, what are you mind up to? Jay, zero. Nothing. My life's boring. I haven't been in the country. That's Retention's it. up. <laughs> Love it. I haven't been in Scotland country. this week. Anything Good interesting week. this week in Scotland? No, nothing happened. I saw a statue of. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't me. I'm so glad it wasn't me. <laughs> so thank, thank you. Thank you. Man. No, you haven't finished the story. Oh Apparently, stop some... there. Stop there. It was funny. There's some statue that keeps getting vandalized, right? And every time the government tries to fix it, some plonkers come and put a. Basically, it's like a dude on a horse, and the horse has a cone on his head. So then people put a cone on the dude's head, and then the government keeps taking it off, and then some guy comes and puts the cone back on. And this Just has been happening for like on. 20 years. What the fuck? <laughs> it's tradition. It's tradition. <laughs> What is the statue of? Why is as in like what is the actual meaning behind the code? What's going on? Bro, I've no idea. I mean, I got a picture. Bro. Of it. It's the funniest thing. What is it? Edinburgh is it? Glasgow. Glasgow. Look at this. Glasgow. Glasgow. The equestrian <laughs> statue <laughs> of Duke of Wellington. The Glasgow. Fuck? They keep just shoving Bro, codes on it. That's it's so funny. funny. There's like a little one on the horse's head. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, someone put double double cones on freaking I'll put a, I'll put a picture in. I'll put a picture in after. That's, that's funny. amazing, bro. So the most interesting thing about your life this week is a guy put a cone on some <laughs> statue. Yeah, bro. Cody. <laughs> yeah, that's really oh. that. Hold you. Hold you. Oh, you call me Cody? Finish it off. We're gonna come um, full circle to Coney by the end of this, by the way. Yeah, we have to. We have to tell yeah, the, yeah. the inside story and everything. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> inside <laughs> story. <laughs> Jeez, Louis. Yeah, we must have put a little DLC, bit of bro. Uh, say a uh, fucking Herschel law in there, innit? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but um, for me, now I was really ill, so I was off for the first two days of the week, and then the rest of it just just chilled, re- recovered, back to work, same old shit, nothing new. Calm. That's a bit depressing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, lads. Debbie down here. <laughs> yeah. It's so it's so well in wrestling. Speaking of depressing, yeah. Why don't we start talking about some sad deaths? <laughs> yeah. I'm here for it. I'm all here right. for it. Retention is completely uh... going to zero. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. For all of you listening, check it out. Top 10 saddest deaths, saddest movie deaths 
Oh, oh no, we might oh, make it into a clip in there. Let me view it. Let me go. <clears throat> no, 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 spoilers, the bro. The top 10 this. saddest movie deaths as voted by our followers. We got mass helping you out there, innit? By our followers? Yeah. Nah, the, by Who's puberty, that? innit? Puberty. Oh, the there you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> our followers don't fucking respond to polls like that. <laughs> so what do you guys think? What are some that come to your mind straight away than some of the saddest movie deaths? This is um, spoilers, the bro. guy from Green Mile. The guy from Green Mile, great chat, bro. Really, the, remember the, the main character, the 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 Be guy rabbit. who's on death row. Uh, well, that's enough. Oh, that's Eight Mile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I said Green Mile. You said Eight. What are you on about? Yeah, I was about Eight Mile, bro. I didn't know. I was on about Eminem, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm very confused. Uh, oh, the guy from Forrest right. Gump. Yeah, Baba. Baba. Yeah, Baba. Shrimp, potato shrimp. I'm trying to think of the rest I saw on the post. I'm, I just, oh, <laughs> hey, okay. in, oh, okay. <laughs> what a dick. Go on. What about you? What about you, Jay? Uh, my son, what you saying? I don't remember who's died, man. <laughs> that means I don't care. <laughs> this guy you know what? Know what? This guy needs to bring some better energy you, to the board. A better question is which movie death has affected you guys the most? That's Mufasa. a great question. Mufasa. That's... I haven't actually seen this post, by the way. It's crazy. But oh, Mufasa. Shit. How Mufasa? do you know the answers? I've got the post open <laughs> and I'll flick along, innit? Oh my oh, god. Okay. Oh, weird, man. Lads, I'm get back on point. <laughs> Biggest death. What death affected you the most, man? Mufasa, man. Does it count? Does the Red Wedding count? Because yeah. that scene just fucked me up. But I don't know if it was a shock factor or if it was because everyone was just. Or if it was because I actually cared about the characters. Like Let's that, not say but... TV counts because TV opens up a whole. Um... Oh, in real life? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, no, movie. <laughs> so it has to be at movies. Yeah, yeah, it has to be a movie. That is the question. <laughs> oh, I thought it was, I thought it was just media, but sure. I never said that. No, said top movie. five, top ten <laughs> podcast deaths. <laughs> this could be us soon, bro. This could be Jay hey, first. Yo. Whoa! <laughs> Hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we just say the answers now, please? What, what is this, flip, bro? bro? It's a what good question. It's a good question, Isn't it? Bro. Answer the flipping question, you, you Debbie Downer, bro. It's a Friday. <laughs> go He's on, got Jay. work after this, brother. I've yeah. got work after this. Jay, go on. No, Answer, I, don't, I don't have any answers. Um, I don't have any answers. Uh, there's enough. not a single death in a movie Shh, you've okay. watched which has got you like... Uh, it's not being yeah, I'm sure there are many, but I don't remember them. Masha, have you got have you got an example as Jay likes to say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Mufasa, Iron Man, Iron Man. That's Iron Man. Oh, I forgot he time. died. <laughs> He's back soon though. He's back. Did he die? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah I love you. Oh, 2000. I don't remember. Oh yeah, fair isn't it? Um, the nah, that wasn't even sad. <laughs> They're not sad. <laughs> They're not sad. <laughs> all right, yeah, you're a fucking so, psychopath. You know, all right, let me go through the list. Li- 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 sorry, the list. sorry, right. audience. Sorry, yeah, we apologize. Someone else could answer. No, no, you killed it, bro. <laughs> All right, so number 10 is Bubba Blue. Shrimp. Are these massive spoilers, bro? Lots of shrimp. I don't actually want to know. I don't give a honest. shit. I don't give a shit. I'll say the movie, innit? Then... Yeah, sure, say the movie. Right. Yeah. So, right, first one, Forrest Gump, Bubba, Bubba Blue. Second one, Bambi, Bambi's mum. Bambi, right. that's it. Yeah. Then. Oh, be a little the... slower, bro. That was way too quick. Oh, sorry, Bambi, Bambi's mother. <laughs> Bambi's mother. <laughs> no one cares, but that's some venison veal thing right there. Right. Oh, I would taste venison. Hundred mm, percent, bro. I would taste right. Bambi's mom, bro. Okay. Hey, yeah. Yo. Hey, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? When she was alive? Or... <laughs> I mean, hey. Liver King. Liver King would. <laughs> to be fair. Um, Green Mile. Sure. John Coffee. 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 Eminem. Oh, she really did oh. read the list, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. He stopped there, though. Titanic. Yeah. Jack Dawson obviously had enough really? space, decided to stay off it though. It was not sad though. Hundred yeah. percent. Marley and me. Marley. Oh, I got that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that fucked me up. Harry Potter, Hedwig. I don't actually even remember Hedwig dying. That's six wings. Two wings. <laughs> That's a ninety nine P meal, bro. Hundred <laughs> percent. Chicken delight stitch in owl anyway. Um up, Ellie, the grandma. <laughs> What oh. the flip, bro? End this list. <laughs> now no, no, those no, no, five no, flipping minutes, bro. Yeah, top three, no, top yeah, three, true. top three, top three, top three. <laughs> Harry Potter, Professor Snape. That's pretty sad. No, bro. Mm, I care more about Sirius Black. Same. Facts, Bo. In it. Facts, Bo. Wow. <laughs> Facts, Bo. You were about to say Bo, but you said Bo. It's okay, baby. <laughs> yeah. <I'm waiting>. <laughs> <laughs> the Lion King, number two, Mufasa, obviously. 
the banyama sim all right and then number one the saddest movie death of all time as but <laughs> please is revealed i don't i skip bicep day <laughs> please Okay, you have to you have to stop in order. That's how oh, drum rolls okay. work, bro. Oh, I don't know. I'll stop. You're editing the audio. Man. <laughs> <laughs> drum rolls keep going, bro. Drum rolls keep going. <laughs> Number one saddest movie death of all time, as voted by the fans of PPT, is Avengers Endgame. Tony Stark. I love you. Oh. 2672. That's upsetting. This is that's just a, such that's a mainstream a... list, man. Yeah. Jay, shut your shut up, dirty Jay. whore mouth, what? bro. You can... oh, okay. You want to? Oh, Wait. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. What? Hold on, you want you want a proper answer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. The two main characters in Queen and Slim. That was a sad death. What the fuck? That's is not that? a mainstream Queen answer. And Slim. So there you go. King and fat. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer that one. King and fat. King, King and fat. fat. The sequel. King and fat. The sequel was it a sequel or prequel? I forget which one was it. No, that was that was a prequel because men come first. I was gonna, <laughs> oh my, I was gonna make the exact same joke. Hey, levels, bro. But just what sexism? My guy, sexism. My guy. He's fighting for sexism. Yeah, I was, I was sexing you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah. I got that ready preloaded, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got the DLC pack for that and everything, DLC. bro. DLC. <laughs> because my pack always like... Story I got that all in store, brother. Oh, oh God. God. Clip that. That's all right. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, so that's sad death, bro. That's people who've been dying, isn't it? So you did people Shit. best five alives of all time. <laughs> best five alives? Oh. You know, okay, five you know, alive. There's only been one celeb five death. Alive. One celeb death that actually affected me. But I was also young. Yeah, mm. MJ. Oh. The Queen. Actually, the Queen actually... I wouldn't say number one though, MJ for sure. Yeah. Is it because you didn't get to meet him when you were in your prime? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't get Willy Wonka, unfortunately. Yeah, leave that for the for the goats, innit? Yeah, <laughs> Shout out my guy Andrew. My guy. Uh, the words forget. that have never been said before ever. Ever. Yeah, yeah. someone's got to do it, innit? <laughs> Shout him out. Yeah, I can say it because I'm a victim. <laughs> to be fair, if are you a victim if you enjoyed it? <laughs> No, let's not take it there. Let's not take it there. <laughs> For the record, I wasn't a victim, but I might have been. But you did enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I'm not gonna lie. I shook the hand of a royal. I did enjoy it. I didn't know that hand has also been in other places it shouldn't have been in. Yeah, so, that's why yeah, you're like, I'm never gonna wash this hand ever again. All right. Oh, star- if you met any, if you met any like celeb, would you man be like starstruck to <laughs> any man? Ooh, any female, any celeb? Any I've met some pretty queen? cool celebs. We met the queen. I slapped that bitch's hand, fam. You dapped her up, bro. You dapped her up, bro. The dead respect the dead. I R O P though. You're yeah. You've got. <laughs> you're there still, bro. You were, you were alive. <laughs> you were alive. <laughs> you were there. You under still. <laughs> Oh, All right, any, any that's pretty cool. That I don't think you can actually meet someone more elite than the Queen on the planet. I can't lie. That's literally the most famous person on the planet. Is she? 100% yeah. the Queen's the most famous alive person yeah. on the planet. Yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would that's still say dead. she's. Because we colonized so much, innit? Shout out, innit? Yeah, yeah. 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 We. You say we. She. We were the colonized. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I ain't complaining, though. I made it here, bro. Okay, true, bro. Bro. The thank ocean. god bro I don't want to be back thank here. the British thank Empire thank god bro British Museum stay stay <laughs> never go I never want to be we'd be nowhere without I colonization I don't want to be, <laughs> bro. I don't be Hindustan thank yeah, god none of that, that bro Wait, none none imagine doing this. especially not Hindustan <laughs> This guy's part of the problem. Imagine doing this imagine doing this podcast back at home fam. Nah, bro. <laughs> honestly they back us they back us. We'd get they wouldn't views. come over here, bro. It's, the, it's the vocal minority that complain. Ain't no one complaining about <laughs> getting colonized and being able to move out of the slums in Pakistan here. I've been back home to the village. I'm happy I'm in Slough, as bad as it is. <laughs> right. I've got some pictures of my hey, village hey, up bro. here, bro. Hey, hey, Joking, you keep me. speaking your shit, bro. I 100% agree with you. Yeah, my guy. Atypical silent, agrees with you. Tory. Not 50% of atypical, atypical agrees with you. Because you might Only 50%. Masa, when's the last time Massa went back to Pakistan? <laughs> oh, but like twenty. Me and Hosh are the bro. only ones who go. It is true. Yeah, I got. You guys are coconuts. Yeah, bro. I don't want to go back. You know, hey, my spiel right now. <laughs> he's glad he's, he's glad he's here in the first place. <laughs> oh, bless every he's day. Glad. I'm sour, bro. 
To be fair, Slough or Pakistan and Lindia was a difference. <laughs> the same shit, bro. It's the same no. shit. <laughs> bro, London's... London's in... Like, what? 20 minutes away, bro. London's my city. England, bro. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You hate every <laughs> other country you go to. You just dislike <laughs> everything. You'll oh, go to your so birthplace true. and say, where's Empire City? Yeah. <laughs> useless. My birthplace is just flipping Wexham, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't disrespect me. I'll fucking dare you. Oh, Don't man. associate with you. Fitting. Jay's one of the Don't biggest slough hitters I know. Uh, facts, bro. Oh, nah. I'm, I'm with him, though. I'll Jay needs to move to Southall, bro. Get your ass out of Southall. <laughs> Southall, yeah, you yeah, want yeah, me to kill Southall. myself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? 50%. 50 50 50 Oh, my God. All right, what's been happening, then? What else has been happening in the world? Oh, I'd help if I had the fucking list open, man. Yeah. It'd help Harsh, if you had your Harsh, own list gone. open. Harsh, you, you said you saved something. What do you want to say? Yeah, go on. Right. Say it. Well, you know how I love football, innit? Like, I watch it all the time, and I watch <laughs> This football. is unexpected. So, basically, I saw a thread online where it was running through tweets from footballers from back in the day before there was PR and, like, mm. you know, management and all this kind of stuff. And I found it fucking hilarious. So, I wanted to firstly ask you lot if you remember any of these from back in the day um, as it was happening. But some of these are absolutely hilarious. Um, I'm just going to pull it up real quick. Bear with me. What's the famous one? The guy who's like, I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is really nice or some shit. Do you guys remember which one I'm talking about? I mean, <laughs> from my knowledge of football. <laughs> well, you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <isn't> <laughs> I'll find it though. My man's like, I like bolognese. Is that what Yeah, literally. literally. Somebody that well, bolognese. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thingy, thingy. Oh, um, when Yama, I had spaghetti and it was very nice. I enjoyed it. Oh, okay. he treated that. Yeah, the classic, bro. You know what? <laughs> you went. You mentioned Wanyama. Let me start with Wanyama. Wanyama, Wanyama, Wanyama. This is 2012 morning tweets. <laughs> Yesterday, I watched the Paranormal Activity three, and today I'm going to put it in the bin. Too scary to watch. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. It starts. It starts. It starts mild. Number two, Andre Gray. If who the fuck is that? Do you guys know? Yeah, player. Know. He's played for Leicester. Cool. Well, 2012, Pretty just sure. seen just seen Tulisa sex tape. Awful techers. <laughs> <laughs> Awful techers. Awful hashtag, techers. Hashtag rookie BJ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my days. Days. Deli Ali. Microsoft oh, yeah. bought Skype for $8.5 billion. Lol, idiots. They could have downloaded it for free. Oh, yeah, Delhi. that's a standard one. In Delhi, in, in, in that Delhi with the freaking camera in the, in the, in the mirror, bro. Yeah, it is. Oh, Shout no. out. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Wait, then, what was the connection between Andre Andre Gray and Talisa? That's what he tweeted. He basically said, "Just seen Talisa's sex tape." Oh, All Andre Gray tweeted. Yeah. I thought you still remember. Yeah, I'm just saying this. Oh no, no, my bad, my bad. I'm sure. Sure. Um, then there was uh, Antoine Griezmann. He goes, "I miss her." Yeah. So anyone that reads that, you know, heartbroken guy, you know, he's probably missing his his ting. Paul Pogba. <laughs> I bet she's bad. <laughs> Antoine Griezmann. <laughs> Griezmann. It's my grandma, bro. <laughs> oh, no way. No way. <laughs> That's guess, outrageous. Why is Pog trying to that? slide in, man? What's <laughs> He's like, share is scary, bro. Wayne Rooney yeah. goes, in 2011, he goes, I'll put you to sleep within 10 seconds, you little girl. Don't say stuff and not follow up on it. I'll be waiting. Guess who he's added? Greta Thunberg. Oh. <laughs> That's even better. Oh god. That's even better. Oh god. This guy's at it himself talking to himself, bro. Yeah, he does that a lot. He he fair. definitely was meant to send that to someone else as a private message. <laughs> hilarious. This last one, I'm gonna say this last one, and then um we can end it there. But basically, Emmanuel Abue, please tell yeah. you, please tell me about that got that yeah. right. Yeah, Who's he? Um, Arsenal. Arsenal player. Oh, okay. Yeah. Back in the day. Uh, back in the day. He goes, my wife and kids are not around. What do you people think I should do tonight? <coughs> he replies to himself. <laughs> Everyone is suggesting I have a wank. <laughs> what is the meaning of wank? You know my first language is French. <laughs> then he replies to himself and he goes, is a wank a biscuit or ice cream? <laughs> oh my it was God. fucking hilarious, man. Reading the shit, I was cracking up. He played for Arsenal and he didn't, uh, he didn't learn UK slang. Yeah, Isn't that like the first thing they do? Nuts. Bellerin, bro. Right. <laughs> what did Bellerin say? No, oh, it's no, different though. He was Bellerin, sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He basically grew up here. He's oh, he's the guy British, that has like bro. a proper. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've yeah. Seen that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I swear good. the first thing they always learn. Oh, is... thanks, man. I swear the first thing they always learn is slang. 
Surely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, that's funny, though. Ah, yeah. well, in the why, did these, sports... why did these tweets get resurfaced? Uh, someone just put it up. I think they were just like oh. back in the day when there was no PR <clears throat> and management. Yeah, you can't get cancelled. I came across these really, I said the other day offline, but like I um, came across it like on my explore feed. I had these random like 10 year old posts from footballers popping up. It's like Maguire from like 2013, out with the boys. And it's like a blur. Like, I'm just like, why am I getting these random like Ronaldo 2014 shit? Uh, oh, actually, mad. I've seen that as well. I got a Justin Bieber post and Selena Gomez post the other day. I think I got a Bieber yeah. one as well. It's weird. You talking about on Insta? Yeah. Yeah, on yeah. I don't know it's why. been happening quite a lot for the past like six months or something. Oh That's man, weird. Yeah. yeah, I've been seeing people comment saying, "Why is this coming up again? What are people like?" You let us know if you've seen that as well because it's just weird. Like, Taylor, I see a post from, like, <laughs> I know, we tried. <laughs> we tried though, innit? Yeah. So if you're listening and you don't let us know. <clears throat> We're gonna ban your IP address. What's the yeah. oh, what's the oldest thing you lot have seen that's come up on the explore feed now? Like the oldest post. It was a Bieber post. I think I got one from like oh, oh that's way older. I've been getting stuff like 2018, 2019. Nah, I got like 2013 oh, or something. 2012, 2013. Yeah, I got that's old, wild. old one. Yeah. yeah, I got one when Bieber and Selena Gomez were together. <sighs> that is mad. That's a hot minute. Did you like it? I fucking loved it. <laughs> I double liked it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Be like unlike Wait, was she legal again? then? Fuck yes, me. bro. They both were. Why is that? Your phone's gone. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that is. <laughs> That's what I was looking at, isn't it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> on the, on have, the... have, what Instagram post do you see with the account that you don't know? Yeah, so many, bro. Let's move on. <laughs> <clears throat> well, on the theme of sports, yeah. Let me, uh, Jay, we're going to give it to you, bro, with this uh, oh. AR thing, yeah? No way. Let me share my screen and that. <clears throat> All right, before you play it, though. No, no, no. So I don't know which episode this was. Maybe my time was the one where we were on, or maybe it wasn't even on the pod. But one of our friends has these glasses um, that you wear that do augmented reality. He's got them recently. My son was talking about it previously. Um, mm. But it, you can basically augment reality certain things like in your real life without anyone else being able to see because it's just through the glasses, right? So he uses it for work and stuff. Um, and you can have like multiple screens open and stuff like that. But this video that we're about to play has been like doing the rounds recently, last couple of weeks. Um, and basically what it shows is how augmented reality could change entertainment and sports and what the future of F1 could look like if we could augment reality in like our actual living space. Um, so I'll, I'll, we'll play the video and then I'll give a bit of backstory as to why it exists. But this video has been doing the rounds recently, but it was first released in 2018. It's only now because of like Apple Vision Pro and a bunch of other like cool tech that's coming out um, that people have started to talk about it. But I'll, I'll commentate over the video. So what you see in there is essentially a racetrack that has been overlaid onto someone's uh, table and it shows like top down view the whole track live and you can see everyone's exact position on the track who's overtaking who you see the little like glass board on the left shows the position of every every driver um you can see like each cam like head head cam of all the drivers as they're overtaking and stuff um you get to see like power plays when that happens and it'll highlight that area of the track when something happens um you can see like faster times boats and stuff like inside that's not even on the track yeah, exactly. So it's like the area. I mean, it, uh, this isn't Monaco, but you could imagine like Monaco, you could see the streets and the houses and yeah. stuff and all the fancy. This is sick. Yeah. yeah not. But you can just see the cars like moving on there and turning corners. I'm like, I don't know, like whether they're going on the outside or the inside, bro. That's nuts. I, oh, even when you go up closer, you can actually see like the actual details of the car. Bro, this is crazy. That's crazy, man. That's nuts. Yeah, so I'll give some backstory to it and then we can chat about what we think. Like, what would we like to see and what sports and stuff or what use cases we think. So this this guy that made it, um, let me let me find his actual name because I do forget. Uh, so his name is... By the way, the Apple Vision Pro costs about four grand. Yeah, yeah. To, it's so... super expensive. Partly because it's, it's Apple. Ticket to the F1. It's, it's Apple. It costs though, about so. the same. Apple tax. Yeah, um, yeah Apple tax. 100%. Apple tax, bro. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, everyone's been talking about Apple Vision Pro recently because it got announced a while ago, but now pe people are actually getting their hands on, um, which is wild because you can do crazy shit with that. Like when they first demoed it, you could turn like your whole room into a cinema, basically. 
um, and it has this weird feature where if anyone's used VR glasses before, VR headsets, you know it's always like the front of your face is basically plastic or goes over the top, right? But what Apple did, which is what people were talking about, is the front is glass and you can actually make it opaque or you can change it so people can see your eyes through. So they can see into what you're like your eyes and you can see out even though you're looking at a screen, which is mad. Definitely. You mean just... like it's overlaid and like you can see this, like what you're watching as well as the people on the outside? No, they can actually see. So someone from the outside oh, perspective see what looking you're at you cannot see what you're watching. They can see your oh. eyes and your eyes movement. Sure, sure, sure. But you can't see out. It's like a... No, yeah, you can't see out. Yeah, you yeah. can't see out. So it's, cool. it's like that. But it's pretty nice, cool because nice. they've got like cameras on the inside and stuff. But anyway, point is, this guy's name is John Lepore. And I'm sure no one's actually heard of him, but he's a motion graphics designer um and he's actually pretty mental so he's done a bunch of shit over the last like 10 years i'll give you some notable stuff the most famous thing that we all love the new marvel intro in every film when it goes through the marvel logo and shows all the films really he did that can he i just did... say that? don't say i love that because i never said that <laughs> he did all the he, he basically led all the motion graphics for um like black panther's sand and when that all like turns, the vibranium, all those motion graphics. He did all the Iron Man, like Jarvis stuff. That was him. Wow. Um, and he's done a bunch of a bunch of like other stuff with, with major companies. This stuff like with like Google and Hummer and Marvel's a big one. He's done like pretty much every Marvel film that has motion graphics. So this guy knows his shit, right? And in 2018, he went to an F1 innovation um, challenge or whatever competition, basically. And Lewis Hamilton was there and a bunch of other drivers were there. And he pitched this idea of what the future of F1 could look like. They ended up getting second place, but they didn't go with it because the tech didn't exist back then. But now with Apple, Apple Visual Pro coming out, everyone's been chatting about it. And so now it's like, it's doing the rounds, it's going nuts. And I think it's, it's hella sick because I want tech in sports from day one. I want to see all the numbers, yeah? But that's like me being a data neek. So I want to know what you guys actually want. What, what would you lot like to be able to see and like touch and feel in real life? that you can't do right now. You know, it'd be actually fun just to see, like, I'd like, it's the same thing. You're saying in terms of like AR, right? What you could put in front of you. Sure. I would actually, it's, it's going to sound neaky as fuck, but I'd actually like to see tabletop games, but in the AR format, because I feel like the possibilities are a lot more, they're endless because it's, it's still, it's still uh, an online game. So, for example, like, if you're doing chants on a Monopoly board, for example, or, like, just Monopoly in general, you could have so much more features that you can on a computer game as opposed to as opposed to playing it in real life. So that, like, a tabletop game would just be fun. Even Among Us, stuff like that would be fucking hilarious, just watching the characters fly around on your, on your dining table, stuff like that. I know it's a really, uh, it's not as cool and high-tech as, obviously, seeing a race in front of you. But... That would be pretty funny. Could, would you not play Among Us if it was like you could see your character? You could basically see the top down view of the map, yeah. right? But I guess there's only like a little bit of light around your character and everything else is darkness and then you, exactly. you move around and stuff. That would be kind of sick. It would be funny as fuck. Do you want know even better than that? Uh, regular Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish. Not wrong. Not wrong. Uh, you know, <laughs> you even Clay are playing on a stupid headset. Is actually playing it <laughs> with the West. Playing the That's chat in clear. it. Uh, yeah, Fez. Yeah, Fez. Yeah, cool. yeah you'll be involved, innit? You, 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 yeah, you're Among Us. I'll be there. Oh, if it's VR. Yeah, oh, it's, it's VR. Yeah. It would pay four grand to get this guy's arse on Among Us. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I don't actually know, you know, because r racing is a great example because of the map. Uh, I can't think of other examples because right now they do a lot of stuff. Like uh, BT were doing like the VR thing where you're like, when you're like in the stadium, right, with games. They do that for NBA already courtside stuff. So I, I'm not sure what would be a good example of the AR aspect because the funny thing is with that video, that my immediate thought, this is such an underrated movie. A goated movie, actually. <laughs> Speed Racer. That's my immediate <laughs> thought is Speed yeah. Racer. The, isn't it? It's literally Speed Racer with the way it's kind of set up. And that's yeah. how people in Speed Racer watch the games. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what? What, even more props to that generational movie made in 2008 <laughs> which got unanimously slammed at the which time. is a joke <laughs> that movie is flipping goaded maybe it's not watch speed racer that movie's ahead of its time literally yeah, yeah. but uh 
R- racing is the, the I think racing is for sure the best one. Thing is, NFL is pretty good as well. well race is your favorite. It's speed racer. Oh, okay. I was just double checking. <laughs> Yeah, no, what? listen, when it comes to stuff that's not on a movie platform, I ain't watching racing. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, unless Hamilton's winning. Then oh, I'll watch it. What? Ferrari now. what kind what? of drive to survive fan are you, bro? <laughs> I'm, I'm a Hamilton fan. Yeah, I'm watching uh, last season then. I ain't watched the last couple. <laughs> last season, Max <laughs> taken over. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, NFL is a great one. But NFL kind of, I think NFL could do it very easily. Because they have chips in, in the ball, the shoes, everything. So what you're saying, Jay, is they have a lot of tracking data. So they show the example. They show like the image of the players running the routes and stuff. Just a flat 2D image. Mm-hmm. But it would be pretty cool to have the game. Because if you see, um, uh, there's a thing called All-22, which is basically the top top view. Which you don't watch, right, when you watch the game. You watch it from the side angle. Mm-hmm. So it'd be great to see that, both. That's the only one I can think of. Everything else... Yeah, I got that'd be pretty cool. Good with something like NFL because you yeah. can actually see all the runs and the tactics. Exactly, Even football, yeah. any any sport where, yeah. where there's a lot of movement. And stuff yeah, like sure. That, yeah, yeah, football. Really yeah. Good, so, yeah, for yeah, team sports like that with the tactics would be cool. Like how you could see yeah. the formations live, like reacting yeah. to different individual plays players stuff. and how they move. Yeah. Like how that you can track Messi sick. and shit like yeah. that. And yeah. see where he does. That'd be pretty. Cool. There's two more that I think could be cool. One in something like tennis, because when you're on the TV, you only really see one player at a time. You don't get to see sure. how the other players reacting live, like in terms of their movement, where they are on the court, all that type of stuff. Um, and I've never seen like a proper tennis match live, so I don't really know how that is in the actual stadium on the court. But being able to see both players and their movements, almost like a video game, would be kind of cool. And then the other one, which I think would be massive for this use case, the Olympics, bro. That would be nuts. Imagine someone going down like a ski slope. And they're doing the slalom and shit, and you can see exactly where the barriers are and their route down and what the optimum yeah. route would be. All that shit would yeah. be mad. That would be cool. Basically, any sport, any sport that when you play as a video game requires a map would be elite. <laughs> the Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, bro. Uh, the Olympics would be a sick one, especially a field and tr- track and field, because on certain events, you've got like. 50 events going on at the same time yeah all yeah. within the stadium so it'd be cool to be seeing like oh these man doing the long jump over here while you're watching the 800 meters you just move you your can... head yeah exactly you just move <laughs> your head yeah if, you, if yeah. you're good that'd be sick that'd be cool well speaking of olympics yeah paris 2024 well i'm t- i was well, i was going to talk about the topic that i bought which was the paypal co-founder um who Elon wants to ban her Peter Thiel, German yeah. guy? Um, so Billy Nippy Thiel backs doping friendly Olympics rival. Oh, I want saw that. To, saw this. What to know about the enhanced game? So he basically wants to create <laughs> the Olympics, but everyone's on roids, everyone's on steroids, everyone's on performance enhancing drugs, which is crazy because they already are in the Olympics. But yeah, right what he that. says here is he's saying, not sure. I said Russian. That oh, Russia, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout, shout out them, man, innit? So basically, he <laughs> says he wants to <laughs> invest in a drug-friendly sports contest style as a modern reinvention of the Olympic Games, embracing science and technology, um, so on and so forth. So apparently, um, okay, so yeah, he's an invested in a multi-million-dollar seed round for enhanced games, a privately funded sporting contest. Where were you when Usain was around? I imagine seeing that guy on roids. He would have broke a freaking sound barrier, bro. He would have broken um, world record. That's wild. <laughs> he would have broke his own fifty <laughs> times. Um, the former CTO of Coinbase and another like biotech investor, blah blah blah, are going into it. So it's not going to test for drugs or other performance enhance- performance enhancers at its events. I. <sighs> Why is this I'm only being f- backed by tech bros? They got money from crypto, and they're like, let's do some dumb shit. <laughs> they they want to make some like Hunger Games style crap, man. Oh, One day 100%. it's happening. Um, team sports have been culled, so it's like individual events only. Um, it and da, 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 what else has it got here? Oh wow! So anybody can, oh any anyone can apply, whether they're amateur or a former Olympian or enhanced or natural or anything like that. Do you know how many dons will come up and be like, "Yeah, I'm natural." And they like came second. And it's like, yeah, we're well, just not there, are you really? Don't stop trying to be that guy. Um, but I wonder if they'll 
if this will even get passed. Like, nah, it won't get passed. Because nah. really if someone gets injured, they'll be like, oh, drugs caused it, blah, 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 blah. So they'll, they'll make up so many different narratives and stuff like that. There's no way any. They'd have to do it fully privately, though, no? <laughs> like, they'd basically have to go against every sports body. Yeah. And yeah, say, but... we're going to run this completely on our own. And, like, you're at your own risk. Yeah. That's mm, it. I wonder if they do it, yeah. It would be like American Gladiators it's... when it first happened. Do like, up, you saying, Bolt and Game. No on safety. Track, bruv. Yeah. Can he now? That... You reckon he could? Still? Juice him to the gills, brother. My thing is with this idea, I love the idea because, bro, let's test the actual physical capabilities. Let's fully test it. Let's t- break the flipping eight second barrier, okay? But the reality is athletes, just like all high class professions, have too much uh, pride. I was going to say ego, but pride is probably more fitting here. And so none of them would ever want to compete in any of these events because it's not natural, right? The the stigma of being the cheat. Everyone, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Even though they... A lot of them do it. They wouldn't Even want to a lot of them do openly it, say that they openly do it. say it's a completely yeah, different it'd, thing. And it'd, so, it'd be like really lower class. People, it'd be like semi amateur dons. Like, yeah, exactly. It'd be like semi amateur yeah. dons. And I bet you the semi amateur dons on like roids are still not going to be able to compete it, with the no, actual it, Olympic it would, athletes. Nah. Yeah, because they're they already roids anyway. Yeah, so it's just going to be a basic. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. So then allegedly. you're just going to be watching like D tier content. Is yeah. just the reality. That's the yeah. XFL thing. gone wrong in it. Hundred <laughs> percent XFL. So XFL that's, failed that's, again, by the way. It's merged. It's merged basically. Merged with what? What the Canadian? No, USFL. USFL. Okay, so sure. yeah, um, that's the that's the unfortunate thing. But I'd love to see this. I mean, it's, it sounds I'm so like it. flipping. Sounds this is something worth waking up for. M for roided horses. Sign me up, bro. <laughs> oh my lord. Sign me up, bro. In a match, I'm you know roided horses is, doing freaking show jumping. What would that really look like? like? Fucking minor tools. Good thing it's in Paris this year. I don't need to stay up at 4 a.m. Oh, yeah, hey. that's true. That's true. Is it this is, Oh, it's this year, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Who's. Is there anyone like, notable? Because I remember the last time 100 meters, there's a French guy that won it, no? Or Canadian. 100 meters was... the Italian guy. Italian, Italian. Sorry, Italian, yeah, yeah, but. I had a bunch of no names, isn't it? Is there anyone like record breaking worthy? Do you, I don't know if you know. Because last time yeah, there K- was. Yeah, Katie Ledecky. That's. <laughs> K Ledecky all day fact, long, like, bro. That's the only one I've seen. Like, watching like, NBC, go. watching NBC, obviously got the co- uh, American Network got the coverage for the Olympics and uh, NFL, obviously, and they promo the Olympics. K Ledecky every she's time. The like, she's, the she's, she's the, the only, only one left in it from like the last couple yeah, of Olympics, yeah, sort yeah. of things. Basically. Oh, she's only twenty. I mean, obviously in swimming you finish a lot earlier. She's only twenty six, but bro, yeah. she's. I'll tell you guys right now. She's won one, two, seven Olympic gold medals, twenty one World Championships. Eight Pan wow. Pacific, thirty six gold medals, nine silver, and she does long distance right swimming. So she does like the eight hundred, fifteen hundred meters in swimming, yeah, and she breaks those records by a good like minute or two. Yeah, the, the thing is, um, I don't actually know who's the big British Olympian because I'm pretty sure Adam Peaty's taking a break. I think, and he's the big, he's a lot swimmer. Uh, yeah. But I so yeah, to answer your question, they're definitely the star power in the Olympic, and this Olympics is definitely low. But it's like yeah, the transition so. from it's the transition. transition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, fair enough. There we go. Yeah. Now's my Olympics thing. Well, nice. I mean, on the topic of sports and Jay bringing up uh, tennis, um, obviously I watch this sport a lot as well. As <laughs> yeah, as well. yeah, hundred percent. I wanted to, I wanted to test you guys' knowledge, <laughs> innit? Oh, hey, go you on. Oh, did you guys know? <laughs> Did you guys know that the the Wimbledon umpires have to learn a variety of swear words in different languages? That's the reason right. being, the mm-hmm. reason being, Wimbledon has a no swear rule, right? Mm-hmm. So they need to learn swear words in different languages to ensure that no one, everyone's keeping to that rule, and no one's, you know, you know, breaking it and causing offense to the opponent and stuff. Which I found fucking hilarious because these men are just sitting there revising fans. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's funny you think there's an Indian. Indian. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. That's what you know, like, there's Indian there, but... There's even an Indian on tour, bro. You say I, that. You say I that. Yeah. Bob Barna just became world number one doubles and he won Australian oh, yeah, Open. He's 40, oh, right? Doubles, He's 40, right? Really? He won Australian Open, bro. World number one. To be fair, he won, he won a Grand Slam, to be fair. Where's the Pakistanis, bro? I don't hear one of you lot. Bro, we squash in it. Greatest squash player of all time. Is it? Yeah, What's yeah, his yeah. name? Uh, Jah- plays- Jahangir. His name was Jahangir. He just made he, it up. Yeah, no. He, he should I tell you how long he was um, squash number one for? Nah. Nah, nah. I'm telling <laughs> you now. <laughs> I'll tell that you doesn't right fit Arshu's agenda. 
Well, that's nah, a nah, squish. Nah. You the fuck, bro. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hot top, bro. Yeah. Right, Wait, hold on a second. Hold he on. won things, 555. And Pakistani. No, no, no. From 1981 to 1986, he played 555 games unbeaten in squash. Bro, there's been like four wars since that's then. That's nuts, bro. Less, bro. That's nuts. Wait, hold on a second. Who was the one? Was this on tour or was this in Pakistan? Bro, he's literally the greatest squash player of all time. Yeah, it's yeah. mad. Yeah, it's wow. mad. What's his first name? Uh, his name is Jahangir Khan. Jahangir Khan. Okay. Yeah, cool. shout out, innit? Shout out. Shout it's out. Pakistan, though. Who... It's in the news for bad stuff at the moment, but you know. Like, yeah, shout out him. Man. I don't claim that, bro. I'm, I'm yeah, I don't British. claim it. I'm British. <laughs> I'm British Pakistani. I'm British Pakistani. <laughs> <I'm> British. <laughs> British. Hey, under, bro. This guy. He was number one. <laughs> By the way, he was number one for over 10 years. Wow, that's, that's actually yeah. insane. In a, in a squash, like squash is still like it's a relatively big sport. Still, yeah, it's yeah, not like yeah. a, it's not like a question, isn't it, my son? So like the fire is that's rated, isn't it? That <laughs> is actually mental. More people watch a question than squash. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. I guarantee you, anyone probably. you wrote. Probably. Oh, that is mental. <sighs> but yeah, a little fun <sighs> fact there in it. I don't know if you guys knew it. Why do we, cool. I had more knowledge on this. Why does India so. have like no good premium athletes? It's a better question. <laughs> Brother, we just said world number one. <laughs> yeah, doubles don't count. About? Doubles don't How count. does doubles Never. not count? Doubles don't yeah, count. You know what that. doesn't count? That. Swimming in the Olympics. But hey, yo, <laughs> don't disrespect no, Kate no, Ledecky and Michael you know, Phelps. Nah, 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 nah. My Listen. goats. Oh, yeah, I don't know who Kate Ledecky is, bro. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joke was there. The joke was there. That's my goat there. No. Same age as us, and she's won 40 gold medals, bro. We need to do something better with our lives, bro. Look at yeah, us. I mean, look at all the people that are younger than us. Look at Mbappe. Nah, you don't Bellingham, count. Bellingham, calling people. Count. <laughs> I swear he said rubbish. Probably. That is funny, though. We know what he meant. We know what he thought deep down, though, innit? Greenwood needs to get sacked off. Shout out to the Greenwood episode. That's, That's actually, right. I was literally thinking that when, when I saw that news. I was like, wow. Yeah, and guess what? You know, guess you know. who was ahead of the time, bro? You literally called it, bro. Yeah, you said he was going to be played. You yeah, it was obvious. It was obvious. He wasn't doing the school circuits like my son said he might. He might shake it like Liga, bro. He didn't go to League Two. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though. Mental. Oh, well, apparently, Mbappe is going to be doing the Olympics for football this year. But that's just fraud, isn't it? Yeah. Football shouldn't even be there, man. What a joke. What yeah. do you mean football shouldn't be it's there, bro? It's in the Olympics. Why is it yet, there? No, they took it out as well. Bro, we have that's, this conversation. That's what guess who, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what no, I guess thought, who, no, they were thinking about bringing it back in again, isn't it? Oh, no oh, one's gonna watch that. that. Yeah. No, no one's, one's gonna, gonna watch, watch that, that, bro. You want to watch a five-day test in the Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> they play for five what? days and it's a draw. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? No, T five, T five, not T twenty, T five, T five, T five. Oh no, god, nah, it's too funny, man. Oh, oh no. man. Ah, Anyone else got there? anything else? I'm going to rattle off. I've got one more thing. Should we talk go on, rattle go off on. another yeah, sport on, that actually. you don't watch or play or interested in? Oh, no, this this is anything to do with sports. It's actually due to do with music. Okay. Hamza? Boo. Hamza's lost interest. But my son will keep interest because it's to do with Travis Kelsey's gal. Ooh. Oh, my favourite. Taylor Swift. Yeah. My goat. T-T. <laughs> yeah. Tay-Tay. Did you, did you guys hear... Swifties. Fun fact, another fun fact for you guys. Did you guys hear that a guy from Pakistan, a young, young... Did you hear about this? I saw this, man. <laughs> it's it too funny. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. This kid, funny. world record, set a world record or something like that. I'm going to reread the story. No, I don't want to yeah, do yeah. another atypical fight, uh, fact. But he set a world record for <laughs> noting out, naming the most Taylor Swift songs just from their lyrics. Masa, you know the game we used to play? Similar to that, like, we'll, we'll listen to the song, first three seconds, clock it. This guy has just read all the lyrics and clocked, like, 200 plus songs or something like ridiculous. that. It was really a lot. And the guy would be, just be like, hey. And he'd be like, blah, 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 this song. He'd be like, yeah, straight away. My name, straight... blah, 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 this song. And he's like, bad, 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 bad. I call it fraud, though. They definitely had, like, a guy behind, like. 100%. It's Pakistan. Yeah, 100%. it's Pakistan. 100%. 100%. <laughs> 100%. But you know what? Guinness Oracle, isn't it? <laughs> they needed a 360 camera. They didn't need an Insta 360 thing in that. Well, they right. needed a CCTV footage because there was a Did guy Pakistan behind. Pakistan world record need anything. Oh, no, oh, no. Nah, nah, hey, yo, I just talked about a guy who just 10 years number one. Do you mean, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I rate yeah, that yeah. guy. Who, what's oh, this guy's name? So. What's this kid's name? I don't <laughs> no know. idea. Was, no, I read Pakistan. This sounds like that. You know that African talent show where the guy says he's the fastest reader in the world? Oh, that's Indian. He's Indian. He's bullshit. My mother died before I was born. 
Classic. Yeah, that guy, bro. Classic. <laughs> then he's like, nah, she's here. <laughs> they were like, wait, wait, <laughs> how does that? And they were like, but she's here. <laughs> That guy's a hero. That guy's a hero. Oh, if we ever God. get him on the pod, then we then I I we can die happy. Hundred percent. I've completed it. We oh, we're it. supposed to get balloon world champion. That's balloon what champion El Mundo. That's what we bring up earlier. Oh. That's what we bring up earlier when you're disrespecting Squash because I was like, when you're rapping the balloon champion, aren't you? <laughs> Me. Yeah. I was the one saying I'm not getting that fuck <laughs> yeah, on the realize. show, bro. <laughs> yeah, champion del Mundo, a balloon. There's no way. Bro, we never get we never get that loser on the pod, bro. <laughs> you backed him. I backed <laughs> him. I no, backed I did him. not. I was the only one. I was the only one who backed him. Yeah, we were I'll insulting him back. for a solid 20 minutes, and obviously <laughs> we... Jay wasn't on the episode. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> As usual. As usual. Yes, yeah, so my fault. You lot reschedule when I'm not around. <laughs> 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 All right. Let me. Let, why don't we share this? The other thing that Jay heard. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Oh shit. All right. This is the topic yeah, prepare, that I bro. know nothing about. Yeah. So basically. <clears throat> What? This crazy new demo has been shown. I don't. I couldn't even explain it to you if I tried, right? Because it makes no sense to me. But in in essence, there's this tech company that used that used Wi-Fi with cameras and radars to 3D map people inside, a, like a house inside a building, and then once it had configured their models, they took the cameras away and just using GPS and radar signals. It could follow their movements throughout the house with no cameras. What the fuck? Exactly what they did. Everything they did. Picked stuff up, sat down, talking to each other. It could pick up everything. And there were no cameras in sight because they took it all out. That's insane. But how, I, how I did they... Understand. I mean, I guess you don't understand this point. No, but I'll ask you the question. <laughs> but, like, how did they... No, but ask him anyway. Yeah, I'll ask him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Bro, what did they... How can you still track them? Well, I'm I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> How can you still track them? I don't understand. I've been, I've been waiting an hour and a half for this question. Thank <laughs> This is my expertise. Well, first of all, when it comes oh to the God. IP address, uh, yeah, I'm stopped. I'm stopped. <laughs> this guy, bro. <laughs> this is the most B-Tech coder I've ever met. He knows nothing. I'm not a coder. He's a beta right. tester. Get it right, I'm bro. A He's a beta, beta tester. tester. <laughs> That's why you're waiting for they keep tracking that. them. I don't understand. So well, it's insane. kind of fraudulent because apparently they had two like massive routers set up, and the way it works is those routers can never ever move position. They have to say it exactly where they are for the like three D GPSing to work. Once they're sat and they've mapped everything once, it's kind of like, I mean, I know nothing, but it's kind of, to me it seems it's kind of like. Um, have you ever guys? Have you guys ever seen those like uh, self driving cars when they take it around a racetrack? So they do like one lap where they learn the track. And then after that, it just goes and it does this thing because it knows exactly what's going on. I'm guessing it's similar to this. Like they get all the parameters. Mm -hmm. And then once they know that, they can just use other techniques like r radio signals and sound waves and stuff mm -hmm. to bounce off of people and figure out where they are. Right, the way it looks like right, sonar, right. like echolocation almost. Like the way the images that were coming up as well, they looked like it was... If you ever saw a visualization of echolocation, the best way to describe it is fucking watch Morbius. That shit can't film. But it <laughs> can describe Have you seen that? echolocation. <laughs> I, watched, I watched half of it on the plane and I fucking shut my shit down. But <laughs> it literally, it's like if you're blind and you can't see, what would they feel? Or sense or whatever? <laughs> they like, you can't see me. When you're they blind, were blind you, and they can't, you can't see me. When you're blind, <laughs> <laughs> you generally can't, can't see. That is correct. I don't know why I said that, but you know what I'm trying to say. Like you can't yeah, actually, yeah. you can't see what's going on. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like a, a visualization of what yeah, it, yeah. it might come across like. So. like... Hey, yo, do that again. Bro. Do that again. That's racist, that bro. Bro, just spoke. <laughs> he's just spoke. He's just speaking Zosa, bro. I was speaking South African dialect. Uh, I was trying to find echo location. You're my bullshit. Uh, <laughs> last of us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. Must I oh. do it again? Do your echo location again? <laughs> go, I on. Can, go on. I don't think I can reproduce it. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh. Did you just swear at me? Guys, hey, yo, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, the thing is, yeah, that these yeah. men just love knowing exactly what you do, where you go, what you look like, every piece of information possible when you're in it. And then there's my son who didn't have a picture in his yearbook, <laughs> trying to hide yeah, from the exactly. system. They can't find me. They can't. Find, you like, can't see me. That's like Incognito. when people. That's like when like people wouldn't give their fingerprints up. 
for the, oh, for the yeah, food, bro. Yeah, I remember that. that those people need to get life. <laughs> yeah. Those people need to not have Google then, because Google's got it. <laughs> Google's got more. <laughs> Google's Google ain't your more. fingerprint, bro. Yeah. Google's got more. <laughs> Oh my god. That's weird though, man. That's scary. That's it's what? Only getting worse. <laughs> That's what, bro? That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. That's a voice That's weird, bro. That yeah. is How much though. time we got left? Because I wanted just a 20 second, 30 second, 60 second, 90 second. God. <laughs> <What? laughs> Pick <laughs> one. Bro, uh, we've got a lot of time. We've only done 15 minutes, bro. Really? Yeah. Damn, it feels like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we've we got a couple. We can uh, do a couple more things. I, I want to talk about uh, Avatar. Have you guys seen the Avatar stuff? Any Which one? Recent news? Uh, Airbender. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, got one. I've heard a bit. Have you seen? Which one do you want to bend? By the way, quick question. Uh, blood. Bend left. Bend right. Oh, wood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Actually, which one would you like to bend? Blood. Um. Blood. Blood. Yeah, blood. Bend your water bender. Then your water bender. Yes, that's true. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Right. You want to bend all liquid? Do I want to bend all liquid? I yeah. just want to bend blood. Okay. But uh, I'll I would probably resolve. bend. I'll probably bend water, I can't lie. I'd probably go with air because you can fly. That's it's pretty OP. Oh, that's a good point that's actually. Yeah. But what about the oxygen levels and that when you get up? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> the hemoglobin. No, I'm, I'm being serious. <laughs> I, I'm being serious. I guess you can bend like oxygen in front of your like mouth or something. I don't know. But you can bend air. You can control all the oxygen. Oh what really? You, you can control molecules. I thought you can just control the wind. That's like saying if you're a waterbender, what happens if you're thirsty? <laughs> just dumb. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, fair enough. I'm sorry. I'd probably bend it in my Sammy, right? Yeah, fair. So, the, obviously, the, the show is about to come out in two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> and uh, Is it live action? Yeah, it's live action. Oh, yes. Where is it releasing, not by the way? Like Netflix, or... Netflix, yeah. Okay. The trailers look really good. But the thing is, the actual creators of the original show left on creative differences early in the production. And now it makes a lot of sense, right? So after the One Piece one, where the actual creator was involved, I was like, you know what? Maybe there's actually hope. Okay, maybe there's hope now. And then this comes right in the um, the shadow of the One Piece adaptation. And the Avatar, some of the the, the initial press tour stuff that's coming out is not positive at all. Like, the, their changes to the canon is horrendous. Everybody's seen it. When's the last time everyone's seen it? Seen it? Well, the actual yes. show, the animated show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably not in like seven, eight years. Hoshu, it's, yeah. it's been a while. I watched. I used to watch it all the time, but I haven't seen it. Okay, years. well, I, I I rewatched it like three, four years ago, and uh, I, I said this before. It's the goat cartoon, hundred million percent, right? Yeah. And even it's, animes, uh, cartoon, yeah. cartoon, bro, Come cartoon, on. cartoon. In I fact, I put it as a top five. <laughs> top five top ten animes i mean that, yeah it, it competes for the top animes anyway yeah 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 it does it does so like it's the funny thing my about... nephews don't agree by the way really? they're like they're avatar what's this crap i'm like really before your time young one i'm like let's <laughs> bro watch yourself let me put the subtitles on but check nah, yourself you wreck like yourself bro so yeah. basically the the stuff has come out i've i I've brought that because I watched it recently, and it's a show. The reason why it's goated is because even though it's a quote-unquote kids show, there are so many themes that are just, like, high-level, right? Yeah. The whole story we Spiritual. gave about, yeah, funny enough, because I was going to say the Ghibli stuff that we were mentioning last week, right? Mm -hmm. Or two weeks ago, whenever this comes out. And uh, a lot of it is uh, one of the main centric themes on, like, uh, Soka, which is the younger brother, right? It, younger brother is the older I brother. I think it was older brother. Yeah, I think he's older brother, yeah. yeah. Is he sexist? Like, that's the whole shtick, right? Because he's constantly saying to his sister, I always think, is it Katana Katara. or Katara? Katara. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> always talking about Katara, like, oh, this is a job for a woman, blah, blah, right? Oh, really? In fact, that's like his first 10 seconds is the first thing he says, right? And uh, the, the whole sexist thing is basically a big character development point for him. That's kind of one of his main arch, uh, main character arcs. And the thing is, they came out and this was the first release. And I was like, I saw that and I was like, oh, no. The first release was like, this is exactly what they said. They were like, yeah, Avatar was 15 years ago, different times. So we decided to take out the sexism from his character. And then immediately people are like, wait a second. You're just taking out one of the defining tropes. That's not good. And then everyone's talking about this, a big storm. Everyone's talking about this is terrible. Blah, blah, blah. 100 percent agree. Right. Because a part of the satisfying sto story is he learns his ways. Right. Because I know, ironically, he's probably the weakest character in all of Avatar. There's about three or four 
women who are stronger than him, right? And then, like I said, even more information has come out about like the fact that they're going to change the journey of Aang. So in the first three seasons, you can see it's a pretty cool map because this is like a huge, I, uh, by the way, Avatar is a mass Reddit community still, right? You can see a really cool map of all the places they go throughout the world map from season one, season two, season three. Massive circle over and over and over again, right? Very cool image. They basically came out and said that like season one, yeah, we're not going to do that. I, I ain't going to piss around. He's just going to get from point A to point B. And to be honest with you, that sucks, but like mm. I can I can hear it because, you know, they don't have the luxury of three seasons. So maybe they're like, no, we don't know we're going to cancel. Let's get to the straight point. But then, this is just another L, and I'm going to read the exact quote, right? Which people are people are throwing around, and it. They, when I when I read this, I'm like, bro, all right, I've basically given up. So the showrunners have said they are they had to find a balance where the series appeals to the OG fans, and then people who liked and I quote, "Don't say Game it. of Thrones." Oh, okay. Game How is that related? They're not. They're really not. But the idea is they have to, like, I guess, age it up a bit. But then they've taken a lot, like, stuff like sexism because I'm confused. They're trying to dumb it down. It's it's just a big mess, a big conglomerate mess. But I just thought, like... That's weird. Isn't Game, of Thrones, thought... isn't Game of Thrones known for its adult themes? Yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> yeah mate. <laughs> the sexism is the, mind, it's the least of <laughs> their problems, bro. The least of their worries. <laughs> the least of their problems. That's the bare minimum. <laughs> that's the, that's honestly it's the bare minimum that's the requirement so, bro it's the medieval so if, times so if you so if you see a lot of the press tour and a lot of the actors <laughs> what they've been coming out and saying like even Katara's actress is basically saying that they had to remove some of Katara's gender issues for the live action what so do you, mean, do you mean the sexism towards her the character I guess so I guess right. so but gender there's not really issue. specific but like that, that's what I'm saying so like it, it's just like my, my excitement was like oh because the trailers look so good yeah, it looked Fire Lord side Ozai side. looks so good. Yeah, the side by side look nuts, and I'm just like <laughs> completely deflated. Yeah. They did a pretty good job deflated. with the casting as well, didn't they? Back in the day, the casting looks like, great. Yeah, so... Everything about it looks pretty positive. I mean, Ang looks a bit young. Yeah, looks a bit childish. Ang looks a bit young, and I, I, I'm okay if he's young. Pretty childish. In the, I mean, I don't know what this guy looks like. Yeah, yeah in, but... in the in the TV show, he's like looks like a butt job. I mean, I'll no, no, he is. But even... He is, but. No, but I'll tell you what my big problem is. It's hmm. more so that Aang and Katara. Yeah, exactly. Spoiler alert, they get together. Yeah, and Aang and sure. Katara's actors in the show look like flipping. Not, he looks like yeah. five and she looks like 14. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit too big. Right. Uh, in, oh, no, this is the movie. Uh, yeah, no, no, not that M. Night Shyamalan stuff. <laughs> oh, but no, I think this is the... No, this is... This is oh, okay, he... I mean, he looks about as young as I think Aang would look. I guess you're saying Katara looks a lot older. Yeah. She looks yeah, like slightly older, yeah. considering uh, they're supposed to romance. Uh, what's their real character. age? Do you know? No idea. If I was sure, to sure. guess, I'd say he's like. Oh, bro, yeah. Katara looks way older. Yeah. Bro, she looks like. Bro, she looks <laughs> way <laughs> older, bro. I told you, bro. She looks I like a freaking you. older sister. Yeah, that's why it's really weird that. I don't know yeah, what they're going to do with that because, I mean, flipping. That's what's Hoping for PB soon, bro. That's what they're waiting for. Maybe that's what they mean by Game of Thrones, bruv. <laughs> How, old? How old are the actors? Did you find out? The actor is, I'll tell you right now, yeah, he is 14. Oh. Ang. It's older than I would say. Ang. Actually looks about 12. Um, and then yeah, the Katara chick is 17. Wow. Yeah. Huh. That's a bit yeah. nuts, you know? Mm. And I think soccer is like even older. Soccer is like a full... How are they going to do... A relationship with one's 14 and one's 17, bro. You know, it's funny. It's funny you say that. <laughs> it's funny you say that. I watched a TV show, which I didn't the realize. Until, my thing. Yeah, I watched a TV show until I didn't, uh, until I realized way later that the main two leads, Friday Night Lights, I've quoted this before, elite show, loads of famous people, Michael B. Jordan's basically big breakout show. The mm. main romance, the girl who plays, is like the daughter of the, the coach. She's like 17 IRL. The guy sure. who's the quarterback is like 24 IRL. Had no idea. And that <laughs> makes perfect <laughs> sense the first two seasons why nothing basically happens, even though they're like, oh, boyfriend, girlfriend. But uh, I'm like, that's so that's weird. weird. That's a fucking... <laughs> so weird. 14 Hollywood. and 17. Mila Kunis shit, man. That's, that's Mila true. Kunis actually yeah, Mila Kunis, shit. Yeah. But even that's like, okay, worst, let me bro. just say this. That's actually yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just say this, yeah. If, if <laughs> 14 and 17, yeah, Mila. and they, I think they're both Canadian. Right, Ang and Katara, right? I think I just sure. saw that online. All right, let's just say, yeah, 14 and 17. Let's say season four, yeah, they're supposed to have a kiss. 
brother, yeah. she's been acting with him since he was 14. Even if, What's like, it? one's 21 and one's it's 18 grooming, or whatever, bro. and it's legal or whatever. You've yeah. been acting with him since he was 14. That's yeah. some day. Bear weird. Things I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> but, man. Bro, that's weird. How would it's you right. not feel weird yeah. as an actor? I don't know. Hollywood. I'm bro. sure they Hollywood. would. Actually, Hollywood, it's funny you it? say yeah. this. Well, Hollywood, has Hollywood, a long, oh, Hollywood has a long, long, oh, long, long history. History of nonsense. Yes. Yeah. But like of exactly what I said of actors. In fact, a really famous one is... Um, uh, you guys ever seen Miami Vice? No, no, of course not. That famous, bro. Uh, what do you mean? You never heard of Miami Vice? The literal shit that is flipping inspiring GTA and flipping Miami, bro. What did Hamza just say? What did you say? Did I you say it's Miami not Vice. that famous? Yeah, oh. it's huge. Fan. Yeah. Miami Vice is really famous. Yeah, what about it though? Yeah, so Miami Fa- uh, Vice, the main actor, I think his name's Don Don Johnson. He was also yeah, yeah, in yeah. Uh, yeah Don Johnson. He's also in uh, in a more recent thing, <laughs> Django Unchained. And uh, really? that Harsh's watched. Harsh's favorite and, film uh, three times. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, in that, he's faint. Well, I'm not racist, famous. by the way. I just keep falling asleep. That's what it is. <laughs> Before hey, no one said you were, bro. Is, is that no, because what? Because no, Black History mental. bores you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even. Set him up. You set him up. You, set him yeah. up. you, set him up. <laughs> you know. Anyway, so basically, him in IRL, that guy Don Johnson, who, like I said, was a super famous actor during the '80s, super famous actor in general. He's got a history of dating girls who are like 14, 15, 16, being with girls like on there's in fact here's a really famous story about like he's the in a, in oh, a show Dakota that Dakota Johnson's filmed. dad. Yeah, oh, Dakota Johnson's dad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have said that. Maybe that's more recognizable. <laughs> uh, he's more famous than him now. Uh, and then uh I mean the only thing it makes sense now. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and then uh, in fact her dad, her dad, I'll phrase it like that now, her dad on a TV show where he played a dad to a daughter irl he ended up getting with that same daughter who was also like weird questionable time so like it, it, yeah what he was got a whole long history everyone knows about Fuck it who's... very that well was... documented it, it, it is who's weird guy, man oh. who's that director the um the guy who got with his daughter woody. his adopted daughter woody woody, woody um yeah woody, what's his surname uh woody allen is it Woody, Woody Allen. Allen. Woody Allen. Yeah, yeah. That shit is weird, fam. Yeah, Allen, yeah, but yeah. there was something he's about He's been a nonce, bro. It's been going on. Confirmed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nuts, bro. Surely yeah. he's on the Epstein list, allegedly. Has to Let me be. Check. If his he helped him work, set it up. Has to be. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> the story is a very gross story. He yeah, essentially he remarried to. He is. Of course, he is. He, he remarried <laughs> and. Uh, well, he is. Oh, yeah, of course, course he is, brother. Of he, is. <laughs> he is. Of course he is. Well, he remarried, and I don't know if second or third, whoever, the, the wife, so his stepdaughter, had a kid, and she was like 12, 13, 14. Fuck young. A uh, teenager, and basically he then eventually divorced the wife, got with the youngest specimen. Yeah, mad thing. Oh, ah. mad. Oh, That's what he did. Me. It's nuts. Hollywood's got a long history. That's why it's always funny because if you look about, you know, Roman Polanski, Roman Polanski got a very famous classic, story yeah, about, case, yeah. yeah, big R word, right? Big case. If you see how many actors like publicly sign like the vote of like, nah, bring him back, like we believe in him or whatever, because obviously he got, he ran away. Right. Yeah, he didn't yeah, get extra yeah, right. Yeah, he basically he ran, ran away because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was gonna get. Uh, What's him now? No idea. No idea. Sure, the last okay. thing I remember is he did the pianoist. But he didn't like. Didn't he get done for it? Whatever. Or... He's not in prison. He's is he? ninety, bro. He is yeah, old. What's his name? Shit. Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski. Polanski. Uh, what happened? I, th- I guess he just ran away and they got over it. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have a Sharon Tay obviously murdered that's how yeah, I know yeah. him because obviously we watch Once yeah, Upon a yeah. Time in Hollywood oh that's so nuts yeah, shout, out, shout out Sharon Tay burn it. so that's why it's always kind of hilarious when Hollywood want, wants to be like the de facto like heroes of justice because they're, they're yeah. they've got a backbone of like just Gen- horrible evil stuff yeah mm. The sad man. The Ang shit's gonna piss me off though. Because, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, not to take it back there, but real quick. No, it's I, important. That, uh, yeah, for sure. Like, that that that's fucked. And also in terms of like the storyline, him traveling around and learning something in each place is actually the best part of the show in my yeah, opinion. Bro. Like, yeah, bro. Like he, he learns so much every time. It is, just... bro. It really is. In fact, like, there, it's funny. I saw somebody say this. There's one episode, right? It's the uh, general. I, Iroh, General Iroh. I was going to say Io. 
General Iroh, right? First of all, Zuko, Zuko's, Zuko's character development is one of the greatest Amazing. arcs I've ever seen in yeah. my flipping life. Incredible. And there's the speech when like General Iroh talks to Zuko about his his dead son. Mm. And he does the poem, like nobody died, the Ba Sing Se poem or something. Incredible. Ain't no Chills. cartoon ever teared me up. That, that, that like, And this is a cartoon that was dropped on Nickelodeon. That's what I mean. Like, it's just so holy shit profound, every time i watch bro. the episode it's so profound every time i watch this episode i'm like they talk about everything you didn't cry about and, uh, i haven't watched it as an adult in it i haven't watched mufasa dying since i was literally flipping this was so bro. good i remember it from being a child yeah avatar is that impactful yeah avatar you remember amazing, it man. it was a like, great show it's a great show amazing. yeah that means that i'm still gonna watch every episode on, on netflix obviously it's gotta be done has to be done, be done. It has to be done. It doesn't have to be done. <laughs> has to see it through, innit? My son does that with everything, though, innit? Yeah, he he start, finishes things stop. that he's... Yeah, I respect yeah, him. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, man. Sometimes he just doesn't start, innit, my son? It's true. <laughs> he's still so going on about the Lord of the Rings thing. Yeah, he wants to rewatch <laughs> the movies again before yeah, he does it. He's I just making what? up excuses at this no, point. No, don't honestly. worry. I got them. I got, I've got them. Yeah, I'll sure you got a lot of things, bro. Wait, so you want to rewatch the movies before you start the show, but you didn't go with... Thumbs up to the cinema to rewatch the movies. I couldn't. I couldn't. He made up big. He was chatting waffle, but he could. He could. Oh, okay. Yeah, I couldn't. We'll, go, we'll do a typical therapy session on that. Yeah, come, yeah. Come. We'll have Let's that. We'll have that. Uh, anybody got any other? Better help sponsor us. Better help sponsor us. Oh, God. All right. Any other topics? <laughs> I get those ads so much. <laughs> <laughs> Off the uni, I needed to take care of my mental health. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, I, did. <laughs> I did before uni, bro. <laughs> Anybody got anything else they want to talk about then? No, nah, go on. Close it off with your YouTube. topic. Do you want to close it off? All right, we'll close it yeah. off. So we were talking a little while back and um, we after we did the Palestine episode, we thought... You know what? It'd be good to talk about some other things that are going on in the world, um, and shed a bit of light on it. Um, so every other like long episode, we want to more or less start kind of talking about some of the stuff that's going on in the world, some of the plights, some of the issues. Not necessarily always like really, really big ones. There could be things that are more local, um, and they could come in many different um, shapes and forms. But one of the ones um, that I wanted to talk about to start off with was what's happening in the Congo. Obviously, the man we know. Obviously, my FIFA character has always been from the Congo, isn't it? So, man's got affiliation with them and that. If you know, you know. Shout out to bond. the boys, isn't it? Yeah, a special bond, man. Shout out to my Congo brothers. Um, shout out Ashtags as well, isn't it? We talked about that in the episode. Check that out. Anyways. Shout out Ashtags. Yeah, shout out Ashtags. So, yeah. So... <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? He's the only guest. Shout out Ashtags, isn't it? To be fair. <laughs> yeah, shout out, man, when you were with him. <laughs> what brother i had the most utmost respect for him bro i got him a cab to the studio i yeah, got his number fair. i called him you'll never live in that <laughs> town don't you never live live in that I, town. Listen, he you for the taxi? i'm the most hospitable here let me just say that after hamza samose i'm <laughs> the most hospitable here hey still got actually number you know still wait hold on did, <laughs> did, did, did we split that cab fee bro? yeah we split it afterwards the split wise yeah not between oh. him though obviously he's a guest <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. we saying. paid for him. Yeah, yeah. no, we oh, did pay. You don't get no we claim, did pay. bro. No, no, but the point is, we all I paid suggest... for the taxi. Giza, who came up with the idea? I didn't see you. You were fucking inside, sweating your ass off, bro. You <laughs> we all were. Oh, it's the year. Bro. Yeah, I was outside making calls. <laughs> I did. Yeah? Please hold that. Please, <laughs> hold what? Hold what exactly? I'm confused. Your pepes. That's what you were doing. Bro. That's what you were holding. <laughs> yeah, 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 you were eating pepes. pepes as well, bro. That's what I'm saying. I was outside. I was making calls, making sure our guest, our guest arrives. <laughs> right, let's get back on top. Ash, if you're watching, let just know. Just know the guy that talked to you on the phone sorted you out. <laughs> this oh, guy's gone back to default settings, simping? bro. What's going on? <laughs> He's on job. Why are you simping, bro? That's my guy, bro. I should have read his book, bro. <laughs> I did. I, le- I listened to it. <laughs> Shut up. He doesn't do he... this book by Ash Dykes. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, so we want to talk about the Congo, yeah. So, I want to give just a little bit of history. I'm not going to spend too long on this. Um, we just want to shed some light rather than doing deep dives like we did in the past that episode. Um, there'll be some links in the description and stuff uh, on on um, uh, places to donate to and things like that, which we want to do as well. Um, we don't just want to say it. We, we already talked about it. We're definitely going to donate as well and pop some receipts for those who don't believe us. 
Um, but yeah, so that'll be in the description. Yeah. There's haters, isn't it? You know what I mean, haters. They don't come in, right. but there's haters there, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You sound like Chunks so yeah, yeah. did that. Did I really? Yeah. I'm not Somalian, bro. All right, we're talking about the Congo, not Somalian, bro. All right, so I went to this quickie start. So King Leopold, the second of Belgium, back in late 1800s, uh, colonized the Congo. And there was a lot of bad stuff there. So there was a lot of exploitation and mining. Whoa, my son, why are you copying me, bro? <laughs> Yo. Kind of sus. And so a lot of... Yeah, I've got script in there. So they got a lot of um, <laughs> colonialist like, atrocities back then. So they were exporting and mining a lot of rubber. And there was a lot of like slavery and abuse and famine and epidemic diseases. And I think like up to 13 million were killed um, through either direct or indirect causes because of what they did at the time. So it's like one of the worst. Like, we did, didn't we, like worst dictators or whatever when we did yeah, the whole Fritzl yeah. thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. Leopold's one yeah. of them. Awful, absolutely awful. Um, and then sort of fast forward like 100 years later to the 1990s, um, over in Rwanda, they have the Hutus and the Tutsis. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen Hotel Rwanda. Phenomenal movie. Highly recommend watching it. Um, and also Blood Diamond as well, which is uh, similar um, vibes and stuff. So, yeah, tribal militia like warfare over in Rwanda, which is east of the Congo. Mass conflicts, mass genocide. Like, unbelievable amount of millions died there. Um, and then they sort of came over into the border and kind of carried on all that warfare over in the Congo. And so the Congo itself is full of a lot of natural resources, like gold, copper, diamonds, lithium. They have the fifth lowest GDP per capita in the world. So that's like how much money the country creates divided by how many the population is. So it's kind of like money created per head of person. Um, but they have like over 24 trillion in raw minerals and uh, things like that. So it's crazy. Um, so remember when I said at the beginning of the episode, we'll suck about the Coney, yeah? So bring it back, Coney. So I was reading it, right? I was researching, getting a bit educated, and I saw the Lord's Resistance Army, and I was like, "Hang on, that sounds a bit familiar." That's the boy Joseph Coney, mate. Shout out to him back in the day, yeah. Not not shout out really, though. He's a pretty bad person, but yeah. So he expanded from Uganda. For those of you who don't know who Coney is, by the way, you're too young to be watching this episode, didn't it? Get out of the rock, bro. Get out of the rock, bro. Was it wasn't Coney 2012 a ruse, though? No, no, it's true. The owner, the, the guy who founded that movement was weird. He was found like naked running the streets or something. But yeah, it is weird. Right. Okay. It is weird. But Coney was real. Is real, apparently. Allegedly. That'd be a funny episode to do biggest host ever. Number one will be Coney next time we do it. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> so yeah, so he's like a militia, abducts children, child soldiers, all that stuff. Um, over in Uganda. And then he sort of expanded uh, his operations over to the Congo as well. So now you've got like the M23 rebels from Rwanda. You've got the Tutsis, the Hutus. you got the Lord's Resistance Army. You've got all these different militia groups uh, coming into the Congo um, and, and destroying it. And so a lot of Western countries and corporations fund this militia, shock horror, um, uh, to basically just keep them in charge, give them what they want so they can, I, I guess, essentially get access to the land um, and get all these minerals and resources, kind of like how the US allegedly um funded the taliban and obviously you got the poppy fields and all that sort of stuff the the um opium i should probably use in to fund the opium crisis they have in america anyway to be fair but um so yeah and there's obviously the whole link between like suela and moving everyone to rwanda and stuff like that so it makes you think what kind of links the uk has because obviously they're happy to talk about things that happen in russia blah 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 but obviously rwanda has a terrible human rights record um as well but that gets brushed under the rug and what i want to say is only one of our football teams is sponsored by them. <clears throat> All right, my son. Uh, my football team is the New England Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, so there's like three and a half million tons of cobalt, which is used for lithium and electric vehicles and batteries and stuff like that. Um, and 74% of the global supply comes from the Congo. And the miners are earning, earning like $2 or less a day. It's like 30 cents an hour, which is... Even with like shout out economics done, purchasing power parity and that, that is awful, right? And so, <laughs> so there's like 19 cobalt mines in the Congo. 15 of them are owned by China. Obviously, China's heavily, heavily invested into Africa while the world was busy doing other things. They waltzed on in and, and funded a lot of these um, countries and governments and infrastructure. So that now they essentially just own all of these African countries, right? And they even did it to Pakistan as well. Um, so they have you know, a hand everywhere. Um, 
And so one of the mines I saw has like 20,000 miners and 5,000 on the workout time. So it's really bad. And I'll put some pictures up on the screen of some of the, the mines. It's nuts. Horrible it's nuts. conditions. Yeah. Fucking disgusting. So bad. It's un- and these mines are massive. I don't know if you've ever seen the pictures of those massive like bulldozer thingies, which are like 50 times the size of a human. And they're next to quarry blocks, which are like 50 mm. times larger than that. It's nuts, right? So um, yeah, crazy amounts of toxicity and pollution. And to be frank, there's a lot of child... Uh, abduction oh, abuse no, child so- soldiers workers kidnapping stuff like that so yeah so a lot of colonization and a lot of militias and stuff which have come in which have been funded by western companies and corporate corporations in order to, for them to sort of let them do what they want get access to all the minerals slave labor and all that stuff as well and so you get a lot of companies like tesla for example who reportedly signed a deal with glencore mining one of the largest mining companies in the world to purchase 25 percent of their cobalt for the ev batteries um, and funnily enough back in 2019 tesla dissolved its public relations department and so it was like the only automaker without a media relations team so it's kind of like you can't ask questions you can't get answers you can't be found guilty sort of thing um so yeah and they need the cobalt for their batteries so and i think they said something like they want to get away from it but yeah and i think when Dua Lipa did that thing with Tim Cook, she also asked about the cobalt mining and stuff like that, and he obviously gave he said his, he said his usual BS in it. Yeah, exactly, standard. Um, it's the same way Ricky Gervais mocked him about the child slavery stuff in China and whatnot over in the Golden Globes. Shout out Ricky Gervais, Slau's own one day come on the pod. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like the classic case of like colonizers arming the militia while they're stepping quietly. Yeah. Again, how I kind of talked about the whole Afghanistan poppy field stuff with the Taliban in the U S and also how Rishi Sunak's like father-in-law owns, um, this signing oil contracts over in the Palestinian region, um, ever since this started happening as well. Um, allegedly all of that is alleged. Um, so yeah, so that's basically, you know, like I said, it was just a whistle stop sort of tour thingy off these sort of issues that we want to bring up and bring, um, a bit of um, publicity to that probably don't get the publicity they deserve definitely don't get the publicity they deserve in the western media but thanks to obviously social media you're hearing a lot more about the ones in like congo and sudan and things like that so yeah we will definitely we will be donating um and we'll have some links in in the description as well so no matter how much you got if it's a penny or a pound um send some money there hopefully be helping some people out freedom free the congo free the congo free the congo so yeah, there we go. Well put though. Very well put, man. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um but yeah, there we go. I guess that'll be the end of episode forty three. Sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of the Atypical Podcast at the Atypical Podcast on all platforms. Hope you enjoyed. As always, we've been posting a lot of new bites and YouTube content, um, in person recordings and things like that. So check them out. Definitely mix up from the content you've known and gotten to love uh, in the past. But yeah, thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next episode of Atypical. Bye. Goodbye.